Hi, I'm George Crump, lead analyst with Storage Switzerland. So let's talk about what is a GRO. That might be a new term for you. It's, it's a term we use internally to Storage Switzerland. It stands for Geographic Recovery Objective, which is why we call it GRO. Um, so what we have in a geographic recovery objective, now the odds have changed a little bit, or the, the nature of the game has changed. Probably we're concerned about this because our assumption is we've lost one of our sites. So let me draw two sites here. We'll call this one primary. And then a second site, which we'll cleverly call DR, right? If I have a, a geographic recovery objective of being up and running in my D DR site, let's say in eight hours of losing my primary site, then what I might do is just have replication running between the two locations. So basically, as things are changing here, I'm making a copy over here. Uh, if I have a geographic recovery objective of, say, 24 hours, I might be able to get away with doing backups locally and just replicating my backup jobs here, okay? If I have a failure in this situation, if I'm doing replication, I probably need to re-index some data if I have databases and things like that. There's probably maybe some transaction logs to replay. There's, there's a little bit of work to be done, but the data is residing essentially in live form. I can attach servers to it and get to work, but there's probably still, even if I, you know, I have my replication done and I have my failure, I probably got an hour or two hours worth of work to get things back up and running. That's assuming servers and everything else are there. If I have a backup copy, and let's say these are both disks, then I actually have to move data back into position onto servers, right? So I have the transfer time to copy back. Remember that a recovery is always going to be slower than a backup because I have to write data. So I have rate, uh, writes are slower, uh, plus I have to do RAID, all that sort of stuff. Uh, so that's something else to factor in there. And remember that I do have a pretty significant time disadvantage, right? Maybe 24 hours to uh, have to rekey some information here. So that is a significant outage, but for lesser uh, environments, it's probably fine. Your, your, a great example would probably be your home directory file server. Uh, you know, the fact that somebody lost yesterday's Word document, probably annoying, but not necessarily business critical. Uh, the, the database environment that does payroll and accepts transactions from customers, things like that, that could be very critical. So that's where replication comes in. But geographic recovery is also uh, might have more than one site. Let's say the site, what we'd like to see at a minimum, this DR location to be uh, regionally outside of uh, or away from you. So if this is, uh, let's say this is New York, and I'm I would like to be replicating probably at least to about, I, I would suggest the middle of the country. Um, so maybe uh, Nebraska is a, is a good location. Um, now, the problem is we do have a distance issue here as well. And so if I want this database in sync, I can't do that. So in many environments, especially in, in very mission critical situations, we'll have a, an intermediary uh, site to replicate to. We'll call it DR prime, and only a few applications will go there. So this database normally is replicating over there. I might do it, so this might be, again, this is New York. This might be New Jersey, right? And I might be doing a very high-speed uh, synchronous replication to my site in New Jersey. And now synchronous means that as I write data here, I write data there. So it's 100% perfect. If I have a failure, more than likely I can recover instantly in this location. So what that protects you from is a sort of a metropolitan uh, concern and where you have the information uh, safely tucked away in New Jersey. Um, and then this covers you, covers you from a more of a geographical uh, situation. In, in most cases, a metropolitan uh, concern is, is typically a man-made situation, either a terrorist strike, uh, power outage, uh, you know, so human error could, could be a problem. In most cases, geographic stuff where we start to get out of the region is typically uh, 
a, an act of God. Uh, storms, hurricanes, blizzards, those sort of things that we really can't control. Uh, and that's the purpose of these. Uh, could clearly, uh, if you look at uh, Hurricane Sandy as a great example, uh, both of these uh, data centers could have easily been wiped out in one fell swoop. So the having location in Nebraska, uh, while not necessarily a tourist spot, uh, could certainly help with uh, recovery. So that, that's how that works. Uh, that's what we call a geographic recovery objective. Again, it's one of the key elements of service level objective uh, driven data protection strategies, which is really the focus of our workshop, is how to design an overall service level objective for each application and the entire data center. We're gonna go through this step by step in the workshop. I encourage you to attend. <laughs>